Hey everybody, Coatman250. Today I want to talk to you a little bit about survival seed safes or survival seed vaults. Your seed safes and seed vaults usually consist of non-hybrid or heirloom seeds is what I call them. This one I bought from the Ready Store about a year ago to date. They had a sale on them and it was $39.99 for a one acre and there's several different kinds I haven't counted the varieties here but looks to be about 25 varieties and it, it goes on to tell your estimated yield of each variety of seed but I haven't ever opened this and it's eating at me so I'm going to open this up and we're going to see what's in it. What if something happens and they sent me a bunch of bags that are just leaked all over <laughs> or what, you know, who knows what's in here. Well, what's in here is what they said's in here. Okay. So I got them all laid out here and it comes with 20 different varieties of seeds and there's about twice as many seeds in each of these packs as if what you would buy in a regular regular seed at Walmart <clears throat> or wherever you buy the little packs of seeds but stuff like this like the pole beans you got a big five ounce package I mean there's a lot there's probably like 10 or 15 little packs worth in that bag <clears throat> had the same thing with the little marvel P big five ounce package and the same thing with the golden bantam corn those are your three main staples <clears throat> you know your beans and corn and the seeds of those are a little bit bigger but you still you get about 10 times more of those seeds than you do these other seeds so that's a seed safe that I bought from the ready store it's a great purchase a great buy I, I'm, I'm fully satisfied with what I got now as you can tell each one of these were in mylar bags and they do have a zipper top with the little cutouts so you can tear it open that's for long term storage and, and I believe this says store for five years or more well everything I've read is the colder you keep your seeds the longer they'll last so as I said, I store these in the outside freezer and I forget about them. But you know, as preppers, we're always thinking of the cheapest way to put things up, the cheapest way to store survival necessities, and we're always, we're, we're all pretty much do-it-yourselfers, right? <clears throat> well, if they can sell a seed seed safe for forty dollars, my lord, in a long term storage container, why can't we do it for cheaper if we do the work ourselves? So these seeds here are all heirloom seeds. I got a 50 variety pack from Survival Essentials. It's an eBay store. And they have a website, website that's heirloomseedsonline.com. 
When you type that in, it takes you to their eBay store. I won this package of seeds. It's a 50 variety for $13.39. And it has 50 different kinds of seeds. <clears throat> it does not have corn, but it does have some peas, but it doesn't have beans. So they really do a great job at putting these together. Each seed is in a specially individual packed poly bag with a label on it that says the name of it. And it says, tested on how many seeds and the germination percent rate. So when they tested them, I'm just guessing that they tested 100 seeds and 85% of this, 85 of the seeds that they tested out of the 100 germinated. So it has an 85% germination rate is what I get from that label. So they really package these up good, individually poly bags, and then you have 25 individual packets in this bigger poly bag, which each of those bigger ones has a silica pack to keep the humidity down. And then both of those packages are in a bigger poly bag And then they have some instructions here, suggested seed storing techniques and so on. And the same thing these people say, the colder you keep your seeds with the less humidity, the better and longer your seeds are going to last. They also threw in a complimentary seed packet of cabbage. But I'm going to show you how I'm going to start making my own seed vaults. For this you're going to need the seeds that you would like to store, preferably heirloom seeds. Heirloom seeds, as everybody knows, is you can take the seeds out of your harvest and you want to pick the best fruits of the harvest, de-seed them. Different seeds take te different techniques <clears throat> of drying or or cleaning to get prepared so you can grow them the next year so that the seeds keep rejuvenating you're growing your seeds for the next year in a sense so for this project you're going to need your seeds whatever kind of container that you would like to store yours in here I have a pint paint can container you can buy from Lowe's or Home Depot I think this was two dollars or you can store them in a gallon paint can this was three dollars brand new never had anything in it so you're also going to need a mylar bag you can buy smaller ones you can buy larger ones and cut them down this is a one gallon mylar bag that I'll be cutting down so that I can do two packages of 25. So I have 25 of the seeds back in their original larger poly bag. I'm going to stick the silica packet back in each bag. I've cut my one gallon Mylar bag in half. I'll leave the larger poly bag unzip locked. Stick, stick it in my Mylar bag. I had to seal the bottom of the, when I cut the Mylar bag in half, I had to seal the bottom. And as you see my videos, I use a hair straightener so I got both packs of seeds in and then I will seal the bag
and I'll continue. Seal it up, make sure there's no leaks. Both, Both packages sealed. Silica packet. And I'm going to use the one gallon paint can. <clears throat> and the reason is because I'm going to store these seeds I just purchased in this paint can. But I'm also going to buy some corn, some beans, and I'm also going to store those in Mylar bags, and I'm going to put those in there also. So, you can throw a, throw a lid on there, make your own little label for it, and there you have your own customized survival seed vault. You can even put lacquer thinner on here, right lacquer thinner. That way, somebody comes and takes everything you got, at least you still got your seeds. <laughs> you know, this is what's going to fit my needs for my seed vault. Uh, I hope this puts some ideas in your heads, you know, of ways that you can store your seeds. Um, you know exactly what's in the packages. You know exactly how they're packaged. You know that it's done right because you're doing it yourself. Plus, it's about half the cost, and you can put up so much more seeds for the money. Uh, you know, as preppers, we, we need to store heirloom seeds. Uh, you can only, we can only store so much food, and it's not going to last forever. We're going to have to supplement that with things that, that we can grow, things that we can raise. So this is, this is just one of the ideas I had, and I appreciate you guys watching. Uh, like I said, check out, check out Survival Essentials. I'll be putting their website in the bottom, and... I'd like to see your videos uh, of how you would do it. This is Cokeman250 from the land of the free and the home of the brave. God bless. And remember, prep smarter and pray harder.